Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Kleeman, and this video is about arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. So if you have a torn rotator cuff tendon, this video is for you. I broke the video into two sections. The first section is some diagrams that I drew showing the anatomy and how we do the repair. And the second part of this video is the actual video from the arthroscopy, the surgery, so you can see what that looks like. If you want to jump straight into the video uh, of the surgery, that's at about three, three and a half minutes into this video, so feel free to jump ahead. Otherwise, stick with me. I think it'll be really helpful to see the diagrams. Thank you for joining us today. Let's start with some of the basics of rotator cuff anatomy. So we have the scapula, which is the wing blade, and coming off of that scapula is the rotator cuff muscle. Now muscles turn into tendons. So the rotator cuff muscle turns into the rotator cuff tendon. The muscle is usually red, like any muscle, which turns then into sort of a white structure, the tendon. The rotator cuff tendon then inserts into the ball, what we call the proximal humerus. And there's a flat portion on the bone there called the greater tuberosity. So the tendon inserts onto this flat piece of bone called the greater tuberosity, which is part of the ball in your shoulder. Now, if there's a rotator cuff tendon tear, what happens is that the tendon rips off of the bone and it gets retracted, it gets pulled away, kind of like a rubber band. What happens is that the muscle is contractile, so when the tendon is no longer attached to the ball, the muscle pulls back just like a rubber band and it pulls the tendon away so that there's now a gap between the tendon and the bone where it's supposed to attach. In order to repair the rotator cuff tendon, we have to be able to reattach it to the bone. So how do we do that? So we normally use these things called anchors, suture anchors. And what that is, is a little, almost looks like a screw, could be made out of plastic or biocomposite material, and your sutures are attached. And what we do is we put that into the bone and bury it in the bone, and just the sutures are coming out. So now we have sutures attached to the bone that we're able to pass through the tendon and repair it. In this diagram, what you see is we've tied down that rotator cuff tendon from that first anchor. Now that first anchor you could see is all the way near the ball, what we call medial. And we're going to do a double row technique because that's biomechanically a stronger construct. So we've now completed and tied down the medial row, as you can see, that lateral edge or that one edge was still sticking up and we're going to have to repair that down and we're going to show that to you in a minute. Now we take those sutures that we've tied down on that medial row, that first anchor, and we pass them around and put them into a second anchor laterally, which is off the edge. And you can see what that does is by tightening that down into the second anchor, it brings down the entire tendon. So know that other edge that was kind of sticking up before, you can see that it's now pushed down and we've repaired it. And now what that causes is for the tendon to heal back to the bone. We get this compression into the bony surface to allow for healing. This is an arthroscopic picture that we took during surgery and I just want to orient you here a little bit. So this is actually a reverse image or mirror image of the pictures I was showing you before. This is the opposite shoulder, but it's the same. So you can see where the greater tuberosity, that exposed brownish yellow bone, you shouldn't be able to see that. The tendon should be attached there. What you see is the free edge on the left. You can see the arrow pointing to the edge of the rotator cuff tendon, which is off to the side. That tendon should be covering all of that exposed bone. It has been retracted. And we'll show you the video coming up so you can see what that looks like. So here I'm touching and pointing that greater tuberosity, that exposed bone. That's the edge where the tendon should be coming all the way back to. Now I grab the tendon and I'm able to pull it back. You see, I'm able to pull it. And zing, you see how that snaps back? That's because that rotator cuff, just like a rubber band, pulls it back. And we use our instrument to be able to see how mobile and easily we can bring the tendon. In this case, we can do it pretty easily. So the next step that we need to do is put these suture anchors in. Those are the anchors. You see they look like a screw, and I'm twisting them in, putting them just like a screw, and you can see the suture is attached to it. I've already put one in on the left and passed those sutures already. So we just 
place this in we check to make sure we're buried into the right amount into the bone so you see how that screw is actually the anchor screw is actually buried in and it's made out of a type of biocomposite material it's not metal and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the inserter and we sometimes use a little mallet and we take it out and then there you can see the suture that's attached inside that anchor so you see how that anchor is flush to the bone and we have the sutures and then we're going to use those sutures to pass through the tendon just like we showed you in the diagrams before then we use our instruments to take these sutures and pass them around through the tendon just like I showed you in the diagram and you could see here one of our instruments said we're going in to grab one of the sutures and we've already passed several of them here you can see we've already passed some of the sutures and you can see how they're different colors so these suture anchors have sutures that have different colors this allows us to keep track of which ones we need to tie to each other so again here you can see we've passed that medial row that first row and then we're going to tie them down so here you're seeing how we've tied down those sutures on the medial row and you can see how they're all tied down all those different color sutures but as we come lateral you can see that that lateral edge of the rotator cuff is still hanging up in the breeze we have to fix that in order to fix that lateral edge we put in that second row anchor and here you can see the first one and you can see how the tendon is already flattened down we've taken one suture from each of those sutures getting ready to place the second lateral row anchor and we're just taking one limb from each of the tied down sutures and we're going to put that on the second anchor laterally and you can see how the tendon is already flattened down very nicely this is the completed rotated cuff repair you could see the medial row and how the tendon is flattened down and those sutures going to the lateral row we have sort of a web type of configuration that's what allows us to really compress that rotator cuff down and we have a great repair and this is the completed rotator cuff repair thank you for watching the video today on rotator cuff repair surgery if you have any friends or family or patients that are having this procedure feel free to share it with them we think it'll be helpful again thank you for watching the video have a great day